every MX Saber target reviewed. Go! Go! Folks, we're back again. MX Saber Invoker has been unbanned in the OCG, a clown format for clowns with big red shoes and big red noses. But if I know Konami TCG well enough, they're 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 always down for whatever stupid decision Japan is up to. So this might be coming to our format any minute now. And because of that, I have prepared every single target that you can summon with MX Saber Invoker right here in this deck list and the one below it because we <laughs> there's like 130 of these things. Here we go! <laughs> oh, uh, also, someone in the last video requested that I, uh, I believe their words were, put the cuck jacks at the beginning of the video so that they know to click off sooner. I don't have any cuck jacks on me, but I do got tennis jack here. So uh, let's just get that started. Say the line again, tennis jack! Hey, what's below the racket? Yippee! Okay, you can click off the video now, but have a good one. Indomitable Fighter Lele. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. This card's battle position cannot be changed until the end of your next turn, except with a card effect. Progression playoffs reference spotted. Real. This is just Goblin Attack Force. We got Goblin Attack Force here, right? No, yeah, that's just Goblin Attack Force. They wanted a Goblin Attack Force that was searchable with Tenki instead of Rota multiple years before Tanky was printed. <laughs> Panther Warrior. I love Panther Warrior. I think I think he's cool as hell. If you don't like Panther Warrior, click off the video now. This card cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one monster. I don't like Panther Warrior anymore, guys. Kwaki Meru Urnite. Destroy this card unless you send Iron Core Kwaki Meru from your hand to your graveyard or reveal one Beast Warrior type. It's Kwaki Meru. Once per turn, you can reveal one Iron Core in your hand to special summon one level four or lower Kwaki Meru monster from your deck. That's actually pretty cool. If I'm not mistaken, this card was used in some sort of Kwaki Meru deck back in the day. I remember seeing it in like either History of Jank or it was probably History of Jank. I can't imagine it being on like actual History of Yu-Gi-Oh. Cool to see they have a summon from deck though. I didn't know that they had that shit. Boar soldier, look at him. Look at this beautiful beast. This they don't make cards like this no more. This card looked like his shit. This card can only be summoned by a flip summon. Sure. If summoned by a normal summon, the card wait, wait, wait a minute. You just said I can't summon him by normal summon. If your opponent has one or more monsters under his or her control, the attack of this card is decreased by a thousand. The thing I'm thinking about most here is the fact that the first line of text just lies to you. Like, can you, like, can you normal summon him or not? Oh, you can't summon him except by flip summon. But actually you can, but like, don't do it. I'm telling, I'm telling you, just don't do it, man. You're not gonna like what happens next. PSCT this guy now. Get me that Boar Soldier reprint immediately. They eroded this card for the 25th Legendary Collection to make it sit. No. No, hold on. Oh no, see it said it in it said this card can only be summoned by a flip summon in the in the magic ruler text, but then when they released spell ruler, they took that out. Because that shit doesn't make any sense. Because it's a lie. <laughs> Because that shit lied to you. Why does EDO have the magic ruler text? Maybe because they like, maybe because they thought it was funny. Anyway, this card sucks and we've been stun locked on it for so fucking long. <laughs> Blackout Coffee. Kwaki Meru Crusader. During each of your end phases, destroy the blah blah blah. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one Kwaki Meru card from your graveyard to your hand. That's really good. That's really good. I don't know why I said it was really good, this card sucks. But I understand like the point of it. I guess like, cause it just clicked in my head. Oh, you go, uh, you go Urnite, pitch the Iron Core, summon Crusader, attack over something, add back the Iron Core. Oh, oh, that's interesting. But uh, actually like now in 2023, that's bad. <laughs> I remembered, oh yeah. We, we live in a world with fucking Baron de Fleur. Assault Beast. So as Saz so rudely pointed out, this video is about Invoker, and special summoning Assault Beast sucks because it only has an effect in the hand. So I guess if you like summon this and then mill Zephyros, Zephyros bounce it back, maybe it does something? But no, that's actually terrible because then you have to search Assault Mode Activate, which I don't want to do. XX Saber Boggart Knight. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower X Saber monster from your hand. Cannot be used as a synchro material except for the synchro summon of an X Saber synchro monster. It didn't occur to me until I was like finished reading this that this is an X Saber and MX Saber Invoker is supposed to be an X Saber card. So yeah, this is what you're supposed to summon, guys. 
Goblinburg. <laughs> and literally Goblinburg. Not like, not like Goblinburg that would trigger off of being summoned by Invoker. No, no, no. You still have to normal summon. Speaking of goblins, we got Goblin Marauding Squad. So not only is Indomitable Fighter Lele a Beast Warrior type Goblin Attack Force, apparently there already is a Beast Warrior Goblin Attack Force! When this card declares an attack, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects. If this card attacks, change defense edition. All right, so it's like an Armades Goblin Attack Force with like, the can't clear Gene Warp Warwolf. Chiron the Mage, more like Chiron the Gage. Am I right, Chet? I'm wrong. Once per turn, you can discard one spell, then target one spell or trap your opponent controls, destroy that target. This card has always been weird. The consistency of like having a spell in your hand to just like break some back row is eh, kind of mid. Just turning any spell in your hand into MST isn't a very good effect. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can add one level 5 or higher pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. Ah, uh, Insert Scout. Chat, can I... Everyone take 800 real quick. Everyone, everyone do me a favor and just take 800. Pay 8. So Pantera was one of the more recent cards that people thought of when they saw that MX Saber Invoker was unbanned. This card is not even that good in Vanquish Soul, guys. Like, you just play it because there's not really that many better options. The whole good thing about Panthera is that she summons herself, so what on earth would the point be of summoning her from deck? Enraged Battle Ox. If your Beast, Beast Warrior, or Winged Beast Monster attacks a defensive position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Yeah, the only interesting thing about this card is that, uh, it's Seems to be the earliest use of the Tri-Brigade typing. Interesting. Form a pal, Salute Tiger. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, nobody say summons in defense. If you say Invoker summons in defense, I ban you right now. You can add one Perform a pal, Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. So this is just like worse hand Samurai, right? How many Perform a pals just have this dog shit effect? to just search when they pop, when they destroy something by battle. Gladiator Beast Darius, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast. Yeah, we all know what Darius says. Um, I guess you can use this as part of a fusion summon? What are the, what's the materials on Tamer Editor? Two level five or higher Gladiator Beasts. Wow. Um, read me Test Panther real quick. What does Test Panther do? Two monsters including a Gladiator Beast. Okay. Okay, actually I see the line now, is you use a rank 3 engine to summon Invoker, special Darius from deck, and then make Test Panther. Yeah, I don't actually know if that does anything because nobody knows what Gladiator Beasts do. Phantom Beast Wildhorn. If this card attacks blah 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 blah, piercing damage, summons in defense. Why does the new Phantom Beast support not actually, like, work with Phantom Beast? Don't, don't say because the old ones are bad. That doesn't matter to me. Why does it not do anything in regards to the old Phantom Beast? Why does it not even acknowledge them. I just want to know, like, why they just gave up. Like, Konami, Konami doesn't give up easily. They made Super Heavy Samurai a tier one deck. They, I know they have the resources, but they just gave up. They just said, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm, th this, this shit, he can rot. I don't give a damn. Because work with Phantom Beast implies Phantom Beast worked in the first, but no, 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 no. Konami does not give up. On, on these lost causes. They see these dog shit commons from GX and they're like, no, 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 we can do something. We, there's, the, the, there's, get me my ingredients, get me my recipe books, I know what to do. No, they just gave up. They're like, no, Phantom Beast is garbage. Why do we even do, <laughs> why do we even do this in the first place? X Saber Urus. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, why are they, why do they keep doing this? Does every card before 2010 have an effect that triggers when it, when it does something in the battle phase? Assault Sniper. You can tribute this card, special summon one monster from your hand or deck that specifically lists Assault Mode activate in its text, except Assault Sentinel. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Synchro Monsters. You can target one face of monster control, reveal one synchro monster in your extra deck, and if you do the targeted monster's type and attribute, become the same as the revealed monsters. Yeah, so unlike Assault uh, assault Beast, this can actually be used to like do Assault Mode stuff, because you can summon Psy Reflector from deck, and then Psy Reflector will add Assault Beast to hand instead of, you know, summoning it where it doesn't do anything. Hi Skyhawk. Much better cards than Bonfire. You would think! Okay, and now we get to, like, the actual one people are talking about. All of the Zodiacs. You can get any Zodiac from deck. Um, why the fuck would I want to do that? 
Dryden is kill. Guys, where were you when you found out Dryden was kill? Leotar, if this card battles a non-normal monster, this card gains 500 attack during the damage step only. Stop having attack effects. You will be in defense position. Lady Panther. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> The dumbest shit I've ever said. Offer this face-up card as tribute to return one of your one of your monsters destroyed by battle this turn to the top of your deck. Konami, can we please get like, can you please release re release like the dog shit cube? This is this is my idea. The dog shit cube is where you reprint every single card that does not yet have problem-solving card text, and you just like sell it for. $30,000 so that everyone knows that they don't actually have to buy it. But this is just how you get all that new text in circulation. I think the dog shit cube will work. I think like one guy is gonna buy it. Ruxin will buy it for sure. Cybernetic Cyclopean. Another prog reference. It gains attack. Stop it. Abari Ushioni. Once per turn you can toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. If you call it wrong, you take 1,000. All right. I'm gonna flip a coin. I'm gonna flip this, like, this Polish coin that I found at work. Heads, this card is good. Tails, it's bad. I dropped the fucking coin. I don't know where the coin went. We'll never know. Man throw tro! Man throw tro! Get, get his dickless ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. Tributing one normal monster on your side of the field. Inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Everyone take 800 again. Take 800 again. Yeah! Man, throw, throw! Get their asses! Gladiator Beast Adorix. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a glad beast, yeah, that's not happening. You're summoning with Invoker. I guess I probably should have just talked about all the Gladiator Beasts at once. How many other Gladiator Beasts are even in here? I feel like we're just gonna randomly, like, happen upon them, and I'll have to, be, have to just do the same thing where I'm like, yeah, the effect won't trigger, but you can make Test Panther. Do you want to make Test Panther? I don't know. Toon Goblin Attack Force! Cannot attack the turn it's summoned. If Toon World on the field is destroyed, destroy this card. While you control Toon World and your opponent controls no Toon monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. If this card attacks, it's changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase, and its battle position cannot be changed until the end phase of your next turn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Goblin Attack Force again. You know what I've always wondered? It's, it's weird that, like, tunes don't require you to control Toon World for them to, like, exist. But if the Toon World dies, then, like, suddenly they die also. So activating Toon World on a field of tunes is actually an active liability. Kill the Guardian! Is that what's hip with the kids these days? Is, is this funny? Everyone click like right now if you think that joke is funny. The Unfriendly Amazon. Offer one of your monsters on the field as tribute, excluding this card, during each of your standby phases. If you cannot, this card is destroyed. Monsters used for a tribute summon or that are offered as tributes due to the other <laughs> Alright, the, the bullshit cube is coming together. Just get this, stuff it all in. Every terrible card that you have no reason to reprint, get it all in there. You know you got Oilers who will make this work. Waki Meru Bergzak. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, stop it! Stop doing that! Warrock Gactos. If an Earth Warrior monster is normal summoned to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is sent from your monster zone to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon a, a level 5 or higher Warrock from your hand deck. So this card is actually kind of interesting in terms of the fact that, like, if you're playing a deck that wants to play MX Saber Invoker, you're probably running Earth Warrior monsters, so this is, like, an extender for that kind of deck. The problem being, if you're playing a deck that um, wants to summon MX Saber Invoker, unless you have some sort of rank 3 engine that involves normal summoning an Earth Warrior monster, I'm not entirely sure how you're triggering this, so kind of weird. Mystic Swordsman level 4. Cannot be normal summoned, but can be normal set. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacked a face down defense position monster, destroy that monster during the end phase. If this card destroyed a monster by battle this turn, you can send this face up something, something, something. If you destroy, if you attempt to destroy a monster by battle one more time, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lose it. I'm gonna jump out that window. This is the new every pyro monster is a goat card. This is just... <laughs> Just every MX Saber Invoker target wants to attack. We, you know what we need? You know what true combo is? 
MX Saber Invoker plus Stop Defense. We found we found the line, guys. Good job. Spiral Super Agent. So that's not great. I don't know what the point of summoning Spiral Super Agent from deck would be. What I will say is that if they like print a level three spiral that summons itself from like the graveyard or something. You could maybe use Invoker as a way to get to, like, double Helix, but that's, like, heavy, heavy speculation at that point. Another interesting thing you can kind of do is, like, if you're playing a deck that wants to make a soul, then it doesn't really matter what Earth Warrior you summon from deck with Invoker. All that matters is, like, you have something. And Super Agent is an Earth Warrior that, if you just draw it, it can be an extender if you just call it right. <laughs> We've, we've been neglecting to mention the elephant in the room that is a soul. Uh, yeah, it, it does, none of this shit actually matters. Uh, this thing makes a soul, uh, you make a soul, that makes a soul, this makes a soul, that's a soul, there's a soul, there you are, there's a soul, that's a soul. Here, this card makes a soul. When this card is special, someone you can add from your deck to your hand one six samurai monster with a different attribute from every monster you control. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Most of the, most of the six samurai monsters can, like, special summon themselves, so... That, that's like, that's just a genuinely good effect. And there's like level three six samurais that summon themselves, so maybe there's, maybe there's like genuinely something there. Wait, that's like really good. That's like a really good effect. So this can search any like six samurai that's not in Earth. Uh, every six samurai must review. What are Battle Shogun's materials? Two warriors including a six samurai. Okay, okay, we might have something cooking. We got a recipe on our hands. We got a recipe. That's Earth. That's an Earth. That's. I was hoping this wouldn't be an Earth, but it's an Earth. That's an Earth. Fuck. Uh. Okay, maybe this idea isn't working as well as I thought it would. The Earth special themselves. It's the secret six Sam gimmick. Are you telling me that they specifically designed Kiz Kizaru to be unable to search the good ones that special summon themselves? Are you telling me they did that shit on fucking purpose? You're kid. You're kidding me. Fuck you. Shut up, dog. Power Breaker. This is not a real card. Saz, did you slip this in while I wasn't looking? When I went to get water earlier, did you put this card in- did you- did you put this fake card in my EDO Pro thing? If this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect and sent to your graveyard, target one face-up spell trap your opponent controls, destroy that target. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense- Why is this also goblin attack? I was about to like- I was about to make a joke like, wow. It's Ice Hand, but no, it's also Goblin Attack Force. It's Goblin Attack Force Ice Hand. What? UA Liberal Spiker. Special summon it by bouncing a UA. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can shuffle one level five or higher UA monster from your hand into the deck. And if you do, special summon one UA monster from your deck with a different name, then return this card to the hand. If I'm not mistaken, that like can summon um, player manager which then either pops a card or negates your opponent's monsters. UA, not like an amazing deck, but definitely has like a plan. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say about it. Warrock Wento, if your Earth Warrior monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, Quake Effect, pay 800, your battling monster gains 800 until the end of this turn. All right, so here's the plan. MX Saber Invoker has 1600 attack. If we give it 800 more with Wento's effect, that means it has 2400 attack. That, now, it can crash with Fenrir. Think about it. Gear fucker the Iron Knight. Does anyone know where Butterfly Dagger Elma went? I seem to have misplaced my Butterfly Dagger Elma. I will not be able to do my infinite loops without my Butterfly Dagger Elma. Blindly loyal goblin. Look at this dude. Look at, look at his green chin. Is that like, is that like green? Green flat five o'clock shadow. When before he went bald, did he have like a head of green hair? Control of this card cannot switch. Okay. Blade Bouncer. Once per turn, if this card attacks and your opponent controls a monster at the end of the damage step, you can discard one card. This card can attack an opponent's monster once again during this battle. I'm not I'm not even gonna say the thing anymore. I'm just if the moment I see a card say, like, attack, I'm just gonna move on now. That's- this is gonna be my new plan. Wind up Soldier, during your main phase you can increase this card's level by 1 and attack by 400 until the end phase. Uh, it doesn't really do anything on its own, but... I guess it's neat that you can use it to make a rank 4 or a rank 5. Or, like, use it for different sorts of synchro plays or... Something? I don't know. 
I, I'm, I'm doing my best here. At least it doesn't attack. Subterror Nemesis Warrior. Rotation reference. Quick effect, you can send one Subterror monster from your deck to the graveyard, tribute this card, and at least one other monster so the total original levels tributed equal or exceed the level of that Subterror monster in the graveyard. And if you do, special summon that monster in face up or face down defense position. If a Subterror Behemoth monster you control is flipped face up while this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon this card. Why does it send to graveyard and then summon that monster from the graveyard? Why didn't it just summon from deck? As we all know, ever since Guru was printed, Subterror has long since left this card behind, but maybe if you can summon it with Invoker, who doesn't have a level, so you can't you can't attribute it for Warrior. You know what, never mind, I'm not even finishing this thought. Hera Tiger, the Empowered Warrior. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your hand. Another Goblin Bird. Okay, so MX Saber Invoker can either summon Monsters that want to attack, or monsters that want to be normal summoned. Great. Awesome. Amazing. I'm so happy. If a level 5 or higher monster is special summoned, tribute this face-up card, destroy that level 5 or higher monster. This feels like not entirely terrible, right? Like, obviously, Invoker popping it during the end phase makes it not very good, but if you can, like, link it off and then bring it back, now you have a way to pop your opponent's synchro. I'm doing my best here. This is like, you've got to understand like how close to the top of the, how close to the top this thing is so far. Like you don't understand right now. This thing does not say when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. That's like top five minimum. Junk Breaker, I'm trying to break your junk. During your main phase, if this card was normal summon this turn, you'd tribute this card, all face up monsters on the field have their effects negated until the end of this turn. They either want to attack, or they want to be normal summoned. It's, it's madness. How does this, how does this shit keep happening? I don't understand. Junk blader. I'm trying to blade your junk. <laughs> Finish one junk monster from your graveyard. This card gains 400 attack. Ah! When this card destroys an X Saber Galahad. If this card. <laughs> spell Strider. If this card is in your hand, you can target two face up spells on the field, one from each side of the field, banish them, and if you do special summon this card. It, it doesn't need to attack. It doesn't need to attack. That's awesome. Even though this also does not want to be summoned by Invoker because it wants to summon itself, still top 10 because it doesn't have to attack. Keys on. If you control a six samurai monster with a different name, you special summon this card from your hand. While you control two or more other six samurai monsters, this card gains 200 attack. Gains 300. I just completely misread that. <laughs> Not the best six samurai you can summon. That still goes to Kizaru. But, I don't know, if you drew the Kizaru, you can just summon Keys on instead. Whatever. Assault Mercenary. I, I always thought this guy was, like, holding a chainsaw, and I thought, wow, that's a little violent for a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but is that just, like, a weird-ass gun? I, I cannot tell what's going on here. This motherfucker does not have a neck. He didn't need one. He does not need one. I don't even need to read this. I know what Assault Halberd does. It wants- it summons itself from the hand. It inflicts piercing. And it- it- it does something when it inflicts battle damage. Just top three things you don't want to do with Invoker. <laughs> Stop fucking doing it! Ugh! Up to twice per turn, if this card was special summoned by the effect of a Dodo Do monster, uh, target one Dodo Do monster, okay, it is, so it doesn't do anything, okay. So you, you only does something if it's not special summoned by Invoker, great, awesome, I'm gonna move on now. Have a good one, Dodo Do driver, I hope you have a great day, Dodo Do driver. I hope, your, I hope your drive goes very well. I hope your drive is amazing, it's immaculate. I, he's a real good driver. He drove me from like, from like my house to the airport one time and he only hit like, three dogs and two children along the way. He's a real good driver. Blackout Coffee. Rose Paladin. When this... <laughs> Send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one level seven or higher plant type monster from your deck to your hand. When this card attacks, send this card from your hand to graveyard. They're doing everything in their power to make this, this entire card pool just unplayable. Just completely useless. Have you thought about AD Changer? Yeah, I'm start I'm thinking about I'm thinking about sticking a fork into an AD Changer right now. <laughs>
Zubaba Bancho Gagaga Coat. If you control a Zubaba or Gagaga monster, except blah, 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 you can special summon this card from your hand. You can target one Go 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 or Dodo Do, -Do, -Do monster in your graveyard special summon. It also, you cannot special summon monster from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Xyz monsters. Okay, so that combos with Dodo Do, -Do Driver. Okay, I'm seeing the vision. This isn't a Dodo Do, though, so you can't use Dodo Do Driver's effects. Fuck. Goki Suprex. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually what got MX Saber Invoker banned, is that there just was a single Goki that could be summoned with it, so the whole thing just broke down immediately. So you would just play, like, some sort of rank 3 engine to make Invoker, summon Suprex from deck, and then you got to search Suprex and then summon another Goki from deck with, uh, with a sold effect. Anyway, this card's Goblin Burg again! <laughs> Even the good target is Goblin Bird! Fuck! Warrock Forcia. If your Earth Warrior monster battles. Okay. Okay, this is this is an improvement. It doesn't need to do the attacking. You you can you can let the invoker do the attacking, and this will trigger off of that. Okay. You can add one Warrock card from your deck to your hand. Uh, then all Warrock monsters you control gain 200 attack, blah blah blah. No, no, why are why are the Warrocks? All top ten. Why are they all? Why? Why are they? What? Why is this happening? The Warrocks are supposed to be bad, guys. Come on, give me one good card. No! Medulce Chevalier. Your opponent cannot target face of Medulce monsters for attacks except Medulce Chevalier. Bro, buddy, you are not sticking around that long. What's the What's the Medulce Link monster? It needs two Medulces, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, there's like another Medulce that you can summon with this, but we'll talk about that when we get there, and we'll discuss whether or not that's like actually a thing you want to do at that point. Queen's Bodyguard. Allure Queen monsters on your side of the field cannot be selected as an attack target. When we get the Allure Queen support from uh, Vrains, this will still not go very hard because Dupe, Dupe Frog is down the hall and to the left. Justice Bringer. Once per turn, when a special summon monster you, your opponent controls activates its effect. Negate the activation. Someone translate this to PSCT. How does this actually, like, work? Is this just, like, a quick effect negate? Or, like, is it man... It's not mandatory, I'm pretty sure. Is it... Are we... Can we please get the bullshit cube together? I need the bullshit cube now! <laughs> get me the bullshit cube! Heroic Challenger Double Lance. When this card is normal, you could special summon one Heroic Challenger Double Lance from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Okay. I was gonna make like a joke about that, but if you have a Double Lance in hand, you can go like any rank three engine that doesn't use your normal summon, make Invoker, summon Double Lance, link off, normal the Double Lance from hand, and now you have a rank four. Think about it. This is the easiest way to make a rank 4, trust me. Iron Knight. Loses a thousand attack while you control Iron Hans. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add one Iron Hans from your deck to your hand, or if Castle of Stromberg is in the field zone, add one Warrior Monster from your deck to your hand. Oh shit. <laughs> hey yo! Kinda supercharging that effect, huh? Putting the juice in it. Might work, no reaction. Whew. Okay, it's got a little kick. Oh! Anyway, I'm I'm not really clear on how you're supposed to be popping it. I I don't I don't I don't play Stromberg. I don't give a fuck. Amazonas Paladin. This card gains a hundred attack for each Amazonas monster you control. That concludes the Amazonas portion of the video. Rose Shaman. You can tribute this card. Draw one. Card. Shit. Sure. Fuck it. That's probably the best card we've read today. That's already the best card I've ever seen. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one plant monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, then if you added a plant monster whose original level is seven or higher to your hand, you can send one plant monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, if you lead with like Orphis Scorpio summon Darlingtonia Cobra as your rank three engine, then you can use Rose Shaman to add back the Orphis Scorpio and Moving on. Rescue Warrior. You take no battle damage from battles involving this card. If this card is destroyed by battle, select one face-up monster your opponent controls that you own and take control of it. At least it does not need to do the battling itself. 
Samurai Sword Baron. Yo, it summons Baron! Once per turn, you can select one defense position monster your opponent controls, change it to face-up attack position. Why can't I target cards I control? I want I want to turn my cards into attack position. You have no idea how much I want them in attack position, man. You have no idea. Bull blader. When an attack is declared involving this card, I'm I'm done. I'm leaving. Fuck this shit. Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin. This card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a warrior monster. Shoutouts to Redux. You can send one level five or higher monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one monster on the field whose current attack is different from its original attack. Its attack becomes its original attack. So first of all, you want to make, uh, you want to play your level threes to summon Invoker but then you want to have some sort of level 4 strategy to get value off of Invoker, but then you want to play level 5s in case you draw the Origin Gaia. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Pick a number! Secondly, Invoker target that wants to be in hand so it can summon itself. Ha 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 ha. So thirdly, battle phase. Ha 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 Iron Chain Repairman. When this card destroys a monster by... I'm tired, boss. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four lowered Iron Chain monster from your graveyard, except Iron Chain Repairman. Why would I do that? If there are more Iron Chains in Age of Overlord, I will... Shit. Field Commander Rush. When this card is normal or special summoned, choose one level four lower warrior monster from your deck and place it on top of your deck. Now, if you... Summon two X Saber Invoker because it's not once per turn. You can use the first one to summon Rose Shaman, and then the second one to summon Rosh, and then Rosh will stack any warrior, any level four warrior monster <laughs> to draw off of Rose Shaman. This is the easiest way to search a warrior monster, guys. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you target one over the heroic monster you control. This card gains attack equal to that face-up monster's original attack until the end of the battle phase. Uh, why are all these cards so bad? Medulce Messengelato. When this card is special summon, you can add one Medulce spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You must control a face-up Medulce beast monster to activate and to resolve this effect. If I'm not mistaken, Medulce did play Invoker at one point to summon Messengelato. The lines on that are kind of complicated because you need to make a rank three and then you also have to have like one of the beasts, which I'm pretty sure the best one is like Hoot Cake, which could just summon Messengelato itself. She ends Daredevil. When this card is normal summon, Place one Bushido counter on. Oh shit, it's a, it's a Bushido counter Oh shit. Once per turn, you can target one face-up card on the field that you can place a Bushido counter on. Remove one Bushido counter from this card, then place it on that target. Yes, this doesn't do nothing if you special summon it, because it needs to be normal summoned to get the Bushido counter. Awesome, thank you. Battle Survivor. At the end of the battle phase, you can add one card from your graveyard to your hand, except Battle Survivor, that was sent there this turn during this battle phase while you control this face-up card. I don't want to do that. I'm good. It, it, can, st it can stay there. I don't need any of it no more. Gemini Scorpion, when this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one level four or lower Gemini monster from your hand. Okay. Geminis get a Goblin Berg that works under Invoker. We did it. We found we found the deck that can do this. Ga 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 Gardna. When your opponent's monster declares the direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is targeted for an attack, you discard this card. You discard one card, this card cannot be destroyed by that battle. What do you guys think? Should we summon, like, Battle Fader from deck? Is that, like, a good idea? Maybe, like, summon Swift Scarecrow from deck? I think that's, like, smart. Wild Heart! Do you think there's gonna be a Wild Heart in every single one of these? We're just gonna find a new card that's actually Wild Heart? Because we had a Wild Heart in the Bonfire video as well. Tenka Beto Shien. This card is unaffected by the effects of trap cards. Yes! Wild Heart! <laughs> Amazon is Swordswoman. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. If I see battle one more time, the video ends. Silver Sentinel. You can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap card zone as a spell card. During the end phase of the turn, this set card in your spell and trap card zone was destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent there end to the graveyard. Target one card your opponent controls if possible. Special summon this card from the graveyard if you do destroy that target. I always used to like this card, but unfortunately, the, the prototype for... 
um, artifacts doesn't really hold up. Didn't even really hold up at the time, you know? Heroic Challenger Morningstar. Now this guy's the GOAT. If you haven't seen my video where I just play rogues format, subscribe to the Curry Bandits, everyone. This guy, this is like the coolest shit ever. If you control two or more warrior monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one heroic spell or trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard and your life points are 500 or less, you can special summon this card, but negate its effects. So, if you don't draw him, you get to summon him from deck with Invoker, and then search a heroic spell or trap, and heroic call is a reborn for any warrior monster. Meanwhile, heroic envoy searches heroics, so you can search Knuckle Sword, which will summon itself, and then can either make both of them fours or both of them ones. So you can make a rank four, rank one, or just make a soul. You just make a soul, okay? Meanwhile, if you do draw Morning Star, you can use Invoker to summon a different warrior, and now you'll have two warriors on field to summon Morning Star from hand. That's crazy. I think that's pretty good. I think I think Morning Star actually might be a pretty good target. That's just me though. This is just my opinion. Amazon is Chain Master. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can pay 1,500 life points, look at your opponent's hand, then add one monster from their hand to your hand. <laughs> okay, that's that's silly enough that I'm not mad about it. That's silly enough that I, uh, you know what? You know what? I've got my whimsy back. I've got, it's, I'm rejuvenated with whimsy. Print this on a playable card. Do not do that. Do not do that. <laughs> Amazonist Fighter, you take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. Okay. Amazonist Trainee, monsters destroyed by battle to this card are returned to the bottom of the deck instead of going to the graveyard. Okay. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it gains 200 attack. Okay. Junk Servant, if you control a junk monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. <sighs> Name a more iconic duo. Invoker targets and wanting to be in hand so they can summon themselves. <laughs> you control an AC or Nordic monster, you can special summon this card. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Nordic Relic card from your deck to your hand. Uh, are there any good ones? Hlidskelf. It's like an e telly Okay. Let me reread Gulvig. I kind of thought like Gulvig locked you into, into the thing for the entire turn. I didn't know you could like Invoker and then still do Gulvig in the same turn. That's interesting. That's like fine, I guess. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. Gemini's Lord Goal Knight. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand that has Gemini Monster in its text. What I love about this card is that Konami broke all established convention to find some, some way to make the Gemini back row searchable. Let's take a quick peek at what this can search. Okay, so that all that that searches Catalyst Field, and Catalyst Field's crazy. Uh, Gemini Spark is good. Okay. Goblin Pothole Squad. When this card is normal summon, trap cards cannot be activated. Also, trap hold trap cards cannot be activated when a monster is summoned except dark trap hold. Okay, so what you're telling me is that this is very, very targeted hate for the Trap Tricks matchup. Awesome. I'm so happy about that. The, that Trap Tricks player at my locals isn't going to know what hit him. Tatakawa Knight. If the activation of your spell or trap card is negated by your opponent's card effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and inflict 15. Name a more iconic duo. Invo Invoker targets and wanting to be in hand. Dust Knight. Flip. Send one earth monster from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, someone, someone help me out with this. If you, like, go... If you go, like, Crawler Soma to flip down Dust Knight... Is it still destroyed during the end phase by Invoker? Let's try it out right now. Let's try this out right now. Go tour guide. Get another tour guide. Go you. Get whatever. Flip it down. This should have been a gamble. We still got time. Will it die? One minute on the clock. All right, let's find out. It did not die! <laughs> Pay out to the believers! Okay, so that actually worked the way I wanted to then. All right, so hear me out. If we flip this face down via something like a, like, 
Let's say, for example, by Crawler Soma, subscribe to the Curry Bandits, it won't die in the end phase due to Invoker's uh, effect. And therefore, you can flip it up as like a quick effect, perhaps with some sort of ghost trick scare, subscribe to the Curry Bandits, and then mill any Earth monster, of which there's got to be one good Earth monster. <laughs> right, guys? Surely a, a huge group of cards couldn't possibly be total dog shit throughout, right, guys? Right, guys? Kill the Guardian! This is still funny, right? This is still very funny. Kwaki Meru War Arm. See, why is this a warrior instead of a beast warrior? That's what I want to know. Once per turn, you can target one level three or lower warrior type monster in your graveyard. Equip it to this card. Gains attack equal to half the combined if this would be destroyed by battle. Okay. Amazon's Archer. You contribute two monsters, inflict 1200 damage to your opponent. We got FTKs, baby! FTKs for days! Yeah, baby! Amazon is Sage. At the end of the damage step, if this card attack... And of course, we got Goblinburg. Oh, the beautiful Goblinburg himself. At all of his... All of his... Uh, dog shit cousins went first, but he's the OG. He's actually not the OG. I think, Mar I think Marauding Captain counts as the first Goblin Bird, right? Invader of the Throne. On flip, select one monster on your opponent's side of the field and switch control of it with this card. This effect cannot be activated during the battle phase. I don't really care. I guess this is a, like another thing that you can like flip down to keep it from dying and then flip up as a quick effect via some sort of trap card from the Ghost Trick archetype. Subscribe to Curb Bandits. Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. Once per turn if this card is in attack position. There's no way, right? There's no way they specifically gave it that restriction so that you can't summon it with Invoker, right? That's like, you, that... Oh my god. Oh my god, this goes all the way to the top. They, they knew... They knew, and they let it happen. They they made all of these cards to mock me. They did this. They did this shit on purpose. Oh my god, it's it's a conspiracy. This is an anti-invoker conspiracy. Anyway, the effect is way more known for is when you take damage while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card in attack position. That's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good effect that was the centerpiece of, like, a deck back in the day, the Clown Blade deck. Um, if you have some means of damaging yourself consistently via your combo, pretty consistent, so maybe this is a fine thing to summon. Like, if you have something like a Zephyros in rotation that can burn you for 400, which will then trigger this, that'll just come back and that's a rank 4. <laughs> Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. When this card is normal, summon you can special summon. <laughs> The Hero Goblinburg! Real! And folks, the moment you've all been waiting for, we have made it to Supply! That's right, Supply. Flip on flip, return two fusion material monsters that were sent to the graveyard as a result of a fusion summon to your hand. That's it. Uh, GB Hunter. Cards on the field cannot be returned to the deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We had some gladiator beasts in this video. Now we got the hunter. Wind up warrior. You can target one face up wind up monster control, increase its level by one, and its attack by 600. I am I tripping, or is this like exactly the same as that other wind up we just did earlier, where it's a four that can become a five? Am I like, am I, am I losing my grip? Wind up soldier. During your main phase, you can increase this card's level by one and attack by 400 until the end phase. Puppet rook. When this card is normal, summon. Stay calm. It's fine. Chain this card to defense position, and if you do, send one Earth Warrior monster from your deck to your graveyard. Uh, I, anyone know any good Earth Warrior monsters? Not me! Once per turn, when this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one level six or higher Earth Warrior monster in your graveyard. Send this card from the field to the graveyard. If you do special summon a target monster, change the attack target to it. Stove, why are you so emotionally attached to these puppet cards? They suck. Etoile Cyber. If this card attacks your opponent directly, it gains 500 attack during the damage step only. Dodo Do, -do, -do Witch. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one Dodo -do, -do, do monster from your hand. Guys! Another good Goblinburg! We did it! <laughs> and because because you because it's a Dodo -do, -do, now you can use Dodo -do, -do Driver! Real! 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 <laughs> I love
love how there's like character arcs in this video. Like we we've, we've been through so much together that I'm I'm learning to appreciate the little things. Like like the like the dodo toast sandwich. <laughs> After damage calculation when this card Uh, just like that, we're back to the bottomless pit of despair that is the Earth Warrior monster that needs to battle. UA Midfielder. Uh, you can special summon this card from your hand by returning one UA you control to the hand. During either player's turn, you can target one other UA monster you control. Return that face of the monster to the hand, then special summon one UA monster from your hand with a different name than that monster. So this is basically like, um, like Liberal Striker, except like not good, right? Except like worse? Except, like, it summons from hand instead of deck, like a loser? Folks, the good Goblinburg. <laughs> Iron Hans. If this card is summoned, you can special summon one Iron Knight from your deck. Also, if Golden Castle of Stromberg is not in a field zone, when this effect resolves, you cannot special summon a monster from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. Okay, so I guess if you have, like, Golden Castle in rotation, then you get another warrior? But if you had Golden Castle, why didn't you just summon Iron Hans with the Golden Castle? Moving on. Sheehan's Advisor. Look at this dude. Look at him stroking the beer like, hmm, hmm, I'm advising. I'm an advisor. I, I'm the advi- I, I give advice. That's my job. When this card is normal, summon God fucking damn it! Heroic Challenger, Night Watchman. If this card attacks a defense- Warrior Lady of the Wasteland. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one Earth Warrior monster with 1,500 or less. Anyone know any good Earth Warrior monsters? Not me. Elemental Hero Woodsman. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can add one polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. This isn't surviving to your standby phase because it'll be destroyed during the end phase. <laughs> so bad. What if we, like, summoned Invoker during the draw phase and then cheated and used its effect as a quick effect to summon Woodsman so that during our first standby phase we get to search Polly. There we go. We're, we're just gonna cheat. We're just gonna we're just gonna cheat. We're just gonna cheat guys. We're just gonna cheat. Big belly knight! Oh he's got that big fucking belly. If this card is detached from an Xyz monster and sent to the graveyard to activate that monster's effect, you can special summon one level three or lower monster from your hand. Okay, so what I like about this is that it goes along with, like, the theme of Invoker, of wanting to, of, like, having a deck that both operates on a 3 and a 4 axis, right? Because Invoker wants you to play rank, a rank 3 engine, but then you summon a level 4 to do level 4 things, but then Big Belly Knight brings us right back around and lets you do level 3 things. At least it doesn't do the battle phase. Mysterious Puppeteer. Each time your opponent normal summons or flip summons a monster, increase your life points by 500 points. This shit goes hard against flu if you also have Fire Princess. Folks, get yourself a copy of Bonfire to search Fire Princess and then uh, get yourself a copy of Invoker to summon Puppeteer and then somehow get Puppeteer off the field and then back on the field and you know what, I'm gonna stop talking. Legacy Hunter, when this card... Dick, Dick Spider, folks, we got dicks, <laughs> folks, dicks. If this card, heroic challenger, extra sword. An Xyz monster that was summoned using this card as Xyz material gains this effect. If it is Xyz summoned, it gains 1,000 attack. Why is this still easily top 20, dog? This is embarrassing. I feel like I shouldn't have even made the video. These are terrible. These are some of the worst cards I've ever seen. I hate these cards. I hate every level four Earth Warrior or Beast Warrior monster. DD Destroyer. When this card on the field is removed from play, you can select one face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna banish it with snow. Exiled Force. Okay, so first we had the Pyrotype Wild Heart in the first video, and then we had the Pyrotype Exiled Force in that video. Now we have the Earth Warrior Wild Heart and the Earth Warrior Exiled. 
You know what? That's it. The release of Bonfire was foreshadowing bringing back Invoker. That's what happened. They wanted me to make that video so that I would remind everyone that these dog shit goat cards still exist. Bro Stone Unit. Offer one warrior type monster on your side of the field as tribute. To destroy one face up monster on the field whose defense is equal to or lower than the attack of this monster. This shit has 900 attack! You ain't poppin' shit, boy! Cyber Gymnast. Once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one face up attack position monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. Whatever. It don't matter. None of this matters. Daruma Dropper. Quick effect, you can attach one material from a monster you control. Oh, I got I got one of those. Target one face of monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero until the end of this turn. If it exceeds monster you control, would activate an effect by detaching materials, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead of one of those materials. I mean, it's not useless, that's true. Possibly still in the top ten somehow. What is going on here? Folks, what is going on? Dwind Shield Defender. When this card you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can have the current attack of one face-up monster your opponent controls. At least it doesn't have to attack. At least it doesn't have to attack. Big shield guard. Big shield. The shield is so big, guys. When a spell card is activated that targets this face-down card, uh, quick effect changes card to face-up defense position if you do negate the activation. Okay, so it's got a little bit of synergy with Soma. Okay, we got some, we got a stew cooking now. We got a real, a real genuine stew on our hands. Mitch, <laughs> that is not the name of this <laughs> There's no fucking way. Mid! Once per turn, you can flip this card to face down his defense position, negate the activation of any spell card that targets this one face down monster. At the time, flip this card into face up defense position. It's just not mid, it's just bad! It's just horrible! It's the w no, no, not mid, not mid. He's not mid, he's bad. This bad shield guard. This garbage shield guard. I will say, it actually is slightly better than big shield guard. <laughs> not for all it's for what it's worth. Heroic Challenger Sword Shield. I remember, my one memory of this card is that I have, um, I have like a misprint sword shield that had like the, like the stamp that closes the pack. Like the perforation on like the top. I probably had it. I don't wanna like I don't wanna get stun locked looking for it and like have people be spamming blackout coffee, but it's pretty cool looking. During either player's turn to control a heroic monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, you take no battle damage, and heroic monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Name a more icon Stronghold Guardian. If a defense position monster you control is attacked, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard during the damage step to have the your attack monster gain 1500 defense. Are we almost done? Can I can I go yet? Can I go home? Zero Gardener. You could tribute this card to activate its effect. Thank you for letting me know. The bullshit cube, any day, just a week away, the bullshit cube. If you do, monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage during this turn. This effect can be activated during either player's turn. I very genuinely think that some way, somehow, this might have been infinitely worse than every bonfire target. This is like, this is, this was an embarrassment. I think the fact that this card was banned for five years just, it, it means absolutely nothing other than we need to ban is sold right now. If we could just make any warrior monster into the best card in the game, then <laughs> what, what are we, what are we doing here? Why are we- why am I sitting here trying to find the best card to summon so that you can just link it off for a soul when like- it, it- it clearly doesn't fucking matter! It clearly does not fucking matter! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cube to the next YCS, I'm gonna go Invoker Summon Wildheart, and I'm gonna win because I'm gonna summon a soul. That's gonna- that's what we're gonna do. This is embarrassing that the best card we found- the only card that genuinely got us thinking about any play was the fucking Six Samurai. I <laughs> I went into this video so boldly claiming that Konami TCG would copy the mistakes of the OCG by bringing this back, and I've been humbled. I've been cut down to size. Jerome, please, I'm begging you, give them back. 
Give them back now. Let me summon, let me summon Boar Soldier from deck. Bring our boy home. 